Friendship is friendship, but business is business. I'm telling you, I live that. I mean, I have brothers who are big, big, big time famous preachers and stuff, but when they ask me to do stuff, right there, buddy, I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> That's just the way it is. <laughs> business is business, nothing personal. Amen. It's just the business. Amen. Amen to God. That's just the way it goes. Amen. Amen. So he said, You're supposed to love. I do. Love ain't got nothing to do with you need to pay me. Amen. Oh, I know you know. That's it. It's wonderfully nice and kind and humble and caring as Glover is. You let him go do some flooring. And say, I'm just, you know, don't even worry about it. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Just check. Oh, I got square cash, triangle cash. It doesn't matter. Amen, Amen. Amen to God. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, preach. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, if y'all going into business, separate. Okay, we are friends, but I'm doing a business deal for you. Right. Amen. It's two totally different things. Y'all come cut my grass. I ain't going back. Oh, well, you know, um... You, you the pastor, so ain't no pastor, so nothing. How much you charge? That's just it. Amen. That's, the way, that's the way I operate. How much do you charge? If I can't afford it, I'll just go to the next person. But if I can, I'm going to give you what you charge. That's just the way it goes. Amen. Amen. Somebody really, really needs to hear this who'd never heard this before. That's what the Holy Spirit just said. Somebody needs to hear this who never heard it before. Because when God blesses you with a business, you don't want to go out of business the same day you went in business. And, and also, whoever it is, I don't know if you're here, if you're listening or watching our online campus, but stop giving so much stuff away. Because the Holy Spirit is saying... What is happening, the people view what you have, view your products as not worth much because you're so free to give it away, whoever you are, so free to give stuff away. Well, yeah, just, just go ahead. No, don't worry about it. It means it means nothing. It's hardly worth nothing. That would, they, guess what? They're going to be like, oh my goodness, this is okay. It's going to be there three months on their shelf. Let somebody pay for it. They'll use it every day. I mean, that's just the way it is. Amen to God. Jesus had to pay for stuff. He had to pay taxes the whole nine yards. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Amen. All right. So, we're thinking. We're thinking. We've been thinking. God has been having us to think a right, the right way to think, what we are to think. We've gone through all of them. Today is the, the last item, but next week I'm going to teach on how to put it all together because every thought must include every single item. It has to be a checklist. All right? All right? All right. Thank you. So, today, of course, be a witness to think the thoughts that are praiseworthy. Praiseworthy. Praiseworthy thoughts. Ooh, you talk, talk about a child who has been tempted this week. Here is one. Goodness gracious of life. I think I've been tempted on every single one of them. Oof. All right. Finally, brethren, Philippians 4, 8, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, 
think on these things. And if there be any praise, think on these things. If there's no praise there, don't think on them. Just that simple. Just that simple. So praise here means deserving approval. Isn't that remarkable? Deserving approval, commendation that fits. What do you mean it fits? In other words, it's appropriate because it relates to God's will. It deserves approval because it relates to God's will. A, a, a wonderful way of looking at it is all praise that's given to anyone represents approval. Right. 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 Yes. Wow. So we praise God because we approve. Yep. Amen. So I say, ooh, you can't approve God. He said, no, a lot of people disapprove. They disapprove of what God has done. They disapprove of what God has said. They disapprove. You can either praise God or complain to God or call yourself arguing with God, blaming God. So I say, blaming? Yeah, they blame Jesus. If you would have been here, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Your fault he died. Isn't that what the Bible says? All praise that's given to anyone represents approval. So listen, from your heart, don't praise if you don't really mean it. If you don't approve, don't praise. Well, you know, I told him that... I said, well, that, that, was, that was good. That was real. No, if it's really not from your heart. So I just said that just to, just to be nice. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you don't really approve, leave it alone, because all of that starts here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But it all starts with your thoughts. Don't, don't throw your, your heart and your spirit out of balance. Don't do that because thoughts come from your heart and your spirit is the real you. So don't throw your hearts and your spirit out of balance. From my heart, I'm thinking one thing, but I'm going to present to you from my spirit something else. No, don't do it. You, you throw it out of balance. And then, then if, you, if you live that off balance type way, then you could fall in any moment when you're off balance. You won't be able to hear the Holy Spirit correctly. You, you, you'll be agitated. It, there's a whole lot that happens if, if what you're thinking and what you're saying and what you're doing, it doesn't line up with each other. Mm-hmm. You're an imposter if you say one thing, but you're something else. Right. Amen. Yeah. All right. yes. I can go put on a police uniform right now. No. But that doesn't mean I'm a cop. Line up, line up, line up. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Proverbs 27, 2. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth. A stranger, and not thine own lips. Well, you know, actually, I'm the one who... No, let another man praise thee. Somebody, somebody's spirit just jumped in here. That's good. Somebody really, really, really... Got a deliverance. Because you had never seen this before. You had never seen this before. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Let somebody else praise you, not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. And then I, I want to I help you with this at, at, the end of the, at the end of this slide. So praise literally means to praise a man or a woman, all right? Which is approved. I mean, it's Bible. Let another man praise you. Commendation. Say that you did well. You did good. That is praise. Showing approval. Nothing wrong with that. We don't, we're not 
glorifying or deifying them, saying that they are God, but that approval. And that's the way we need to think. It's difficult, I'm telling you now. It's very difficult. I was talking to Pastor Haver about what we're going through with the house. And so I was saying, he's this, he's that. Then I said, "Mm, I'm supposed to give a good report. He said, that's right. He said, that's right. Do what you believe. I said, yes. I said, well, he does have good manners. (laughs) I got that one from Pastor Glover. And I said, if he hadn't given us this price, we would not have gotten a loan. So I had to revert. Well, not revert. I had to do what was right. I had to do what was right. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I tell y'all. I t- Hallelujah to God. See, I get these messages, especially this one. Praise? Praise? Approval? It's been over 40. I can't even say it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And next, our thoughts about others should be what we can say to express our approval of what they've done. Now, please be clear. If your child does something that they should not do, yes, they should be reprimanded. All right, this... When the Holy Spirit is teaching us about what to think... It's those thoughts, and I'll deal with a little more next week. It's those thoughts in terms of pondering. If somebody does something wrong, yes, you need to know that you have done wrong. All right? But deal with it and be done with it. Don't constantly think about this thing. You can't just ponder and ponder and ponder on this. You think on these things. That word think literally is a a continual Thinking, 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 thinking. And I've been guilty of that so much, especially during this process. And so I just, you just have to stop. It's okay. It's really okay. Amen. All right. So this is one of those types of sermons, eh? <laughs> our thoughts about others should be what, what we can say to express our approval of what they've done. Amen. And I'm telling you what, it helps you, it helps you out because you could get angry. You really, really could. The Bible says anger but sin not, but you can get angry and sin. Yes. You could get angry and, and, and imagine and say, I'm going to go to your house. You want to answer my call? I'm coming to your house. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Our most powerful actions occur when we operate according to a verse of scripture, awesome. this, is, this is where it's, it's kind of flipped over onto us. So the word of God says, let another man praise thee and not, that, thine, and not thine own mouth, a stranger not thine own lips. So our most powerful actions occur when we operate according to a verse of scripture. So since we are not supposed to praise ourselves, and we know other people, you're not supposed to praise yourself. You're not supposed Amen. to praise, you ain't supposed Amen. to praise yourself. Amen. So guess what? I need to do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. I need to praise you. I should praise you. You can't praise yourself, so I should do it. It is so powerful when we operate according to what scripture says. When's the last time you praised somebody? When's the last time you told them how great they are in doing this and that and the other? The Bible says, let somebody else do it. Ain't nobody, look like ain't nobody going to recognize what I did. So I'm going to just tell you what I did. Jesus said, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. No, I just did this out of love. That's it. Let God get the glory. Yeah. How he going to get the glory? People don't know what I did. <laughs> How about you give him the glory then? Yeah. 
But y'all, listen, let's, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Let's think about what people have done and, and let's praise them. Amen. And we're not doing it to make them feel good. We're doing it because of what scripture says. If the end result is they feel good, well, praise the Lord, bonus. Amen. But I'm doing it because scripture says I need to praise you. I need to praise you. I just simply love the way you sing. I mean, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can always, even if I can't hear the run, I can tell you're doing the run because your neck, and I just know, oh, she's all in it. I just love the way she's just all in it. Praise. All right. Please do this. Please do this. Let's live the word. Amen? Amen. All right. Praise ye the Lord. Pray hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I know of two individuals in the natural. So this is not you. But right when I was about to step further, I literally became, spiritually speaking, somebody who's about to walk into a new house. It's new to them. I know of two in the natural. I'm not talking about you. It's somebody else. You're about to, I saw you stepping. It was like it was actually me, but I know it's not me because I already know my deal. That come months from now. But stepping into your new house. And I thank you and praise you, Father, for it in Jesus' name. Okay, now this is, this is something. This is something. It's not even in the works. You haven't, you, you haven't even found the house yet. You have, y'all have, I don't know who y'all is. But Holy Spirit say, y'all, y'all have talked about it before, you know, getting the houses, that and other, but you, you, you haven't moved forward with it in the natural, but it's, it's going to happen. Thank you. It's going to happen with what you can't afford. You. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Psalm 150 verses one, verses two, and then jump down to verse six. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Hallelujah. We're in his sanctuary. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. So you see here, one reason we praise God is because of the astounding deeds he has done for us. You know, we're waiting for new stuff to praise God for. Uh, you want something new, Lord? You hadn't done nothing astounding for me in a long time. Wow. Wow. Praise him for what he's already done. Yeah. Ooh, praise him, praise him. The mighty acts. Ooh, all your mighty acts you have done for me. My Pastor Glover was saying, I was cussing, yeah. but you saved me. Yeah. According to your excellent greatness. He's not just great, but he's excellently great. Yeah. All right. Verse 6. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Uh, so there's another reason, another reason, another reason we praise the Lord is that we have the ability to, because we have breath. Both reasons start with a thought. Because of what you've done, I was thinking, thinking, thinking about it. When I think, of the Gashanaya. 
Holy Ghost in here when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Praise God for serving me. When I think, think, think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Oh, I thank God for saving me, saving me. Saving me, oh, saving me. My, 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 my. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Just thinking, just thinking, just thinking. Bishop Brown preached a message decades ago. The thinkful will be thankful. The thinkful will be thankful. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. So, often, people will make proclamations of hallelujah to God. We'll make proclamations of praise that we need to ponder on. For example, Psalm 6832. Sing to God. O kingdoms of the earth. I thank God for saving me. To sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. It says in the note, often people make proclamations of praise that we need to ponder on. Selah, pause, and calmly think of that. Sila. Kingdom of the sing praises to the Lord. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a Zoom call recorded with about a hundred or so countries represented and everybody just singing to God? All the kingdoms of the earth just singing, just praising God in your own language, with your own tune, just singing praises. We're doing what the scripture commanded us to see law, pause, and calmly think of that. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome? Another one, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied. That's who every single one of you all are. Blessed, happy, you're fortunate, and you're so blessed until people envy you. To be envied are those who dwell in your house, Lord, and dwell in your presence. They will be singing your praises all the day long. They're blessed and it's just sila, sila. Pause and come and think of that. All day long. I'm blessed. I'm here, Lord. I dwell in your house. I dwell in your presence. I sing of your praises all the day long. All the day long. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I can't sing. Everybody can sing. Everybody can sing. Doesn't matter how well it sounds to the next person. To Hallelujah. To God, it's holy. To God, it's wonderful. The Bible says it is a sweet, it's, it's sweetness to his nostrils. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh, God deserves the praises. He deserves our praises. 
Because we approve. We approve. Oh, Father God Almighty. Okay. What are thoughts that we can ponder on that could produce praises to God? What are thoughts? Psalm 63 and 3, because your loving kindness is better than life. Woohoo! Your loving kindness is better than life itself. So because of that, my lips shall praise you. Just because. You're not just kind. Like somebody say, okay, I'm going to be nice. No, he has loving kindness. I want to be nice. I want to be kind. I love being kind. Your loving kindness is better than life. And because of that, my lips shall praise you. Seven times a day and all day long do I praise you. Why? Because of your righteous decrees. Just the things you have decreed, you have declared in the earth for us. I will praise you seven times. Matter of fact, all day long. That's what the word says. My gracious. Blessed, praised, and extolled, and thanked. Be the Lord God of Israel. Why? Because he has come and brought deliverance and redemption to his people. Exclamation point. Because, because, because. What is your because to praise God? What is your because? Well, this is your homework. For the next 30 days after waking up, praise God for something different each day. What is your because? Every morning when you get up, it's got to be 30 different things for 30 days. Hallelujah to God. What is your because? What is your because? Then... Write down what you praised God for after you have praised him. Wake up. Father, I just praise you for life. I praise you. And don't just say the word, but, but let's elaborate to God. I praise you for life, Lord God, because I, I could have, as the word of God says, I could have died before my time. I thank you for life, and I only have this life because you've been so merciful. Thank you for life, Lord. After you write it down, on the 31st day, we visit all 30 thoughts that produce praises and reflect on God's goodness. On the 31st day. Go over all 30 of them. Read all 30 of them and reflect on God's goodness. Then the fourth one, each day for the rest of your life, God wants us to intentionally think of why we should praise him that day and praise him for what he's done Doing or going to do. So for the next 30 days, beginning the 23rd of November, for the next 30 days, wake up. I want the young people to do this as well. Just wake up and praise God for something different. And if you forget, go through your list and say, did I praise God for this? Oh, yeah, day 16 I did. So sit and think of something new. And check your list. Make sure it's 30 different things. I just, I just saw somebody write. I didn't think about it like this. I just saw, and I know exactly who it is. I just saw somebody write the 30 things Already, and so they wake up in the morning, they already know. Say, I'm gonna make sure that's a smart way. That's a smart way. I think I'm gonna take that one. I think I'm gonna take that one. So, for the rest of your life, wake up and intentionally praise God. 
Because it's so easy for us to say, Lord, I just praise you. But we're not really praising him. We're not really praising him unless we're showing approval of something. I mean, right now, if I say, Joshua, you did so good. Oh, my goodness. You, you did so good. You, you just did. He's going to look just like he's looking at me now. <laughs> what? And that's when we say, God, I just praise you. I, I just praise you. I just, but when you, hallelujah, when you have a purpose, a reason for pray, Father, I praise you because, as we see in Scripture, they have becauses. I just made that word up, I guess. <laughs> there are becauses to praise him. Yes. And it all begins with a thought. All begins with a thought. So that's be a witness to think praiseworthy. Praiseworthy. <laughs> and as, as we're thinking concerning people... It will, it will, it'll, it'll lower our blood pressure. It will decrease our stress. It will help our attitudes. It's quiet in here. <laughs> hey, we all need to help. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we bless you. We thank you for today. Thank you, Lord God, for breaking down your word and teaching us. Thank you for breaking down this entire scripture for the past couple months. And we thank you for what you've taught us. It is challenging. And we thank you for your word because your word teaches us. And it's supposed to align us as, as your word talks about us being clay and you are the potter and you're shaping us. You're shaping our minds, Lord God. And you're causing us to become who you see us as being. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Before the potter sits down, the potter has already seen in his or her mind what that lump of clay is to become some of the clay is taken off some is shaped and some is molded and then even after it has been created it is put in the fire for proper usage so that it can be baked so that it can be firm, so that it can be used. So, Father, some of us, it seems like we're being made in the fire. And we just thank you, Lord God, for your working and your ways. Because how we think is how we are. As your word says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, Father, however we think, that is how we are. And so it helps us to go through these situations so that we can see our thoughts and see what's in our hearts and correct them. And we thank you, Father, for these, this series of messages that will end next week according to your will to help us bring all of these together, those things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of a good report, virtuous, and worthy of praise, that we can take these eight and apply them to every single thought and be used by you to bring forth such peace in our lives and in the lives of others. So help us, Lord God, to not be selfish, not be self-centered, not be self-righteous, but to praise other people. To let them know, listen, I approve. You know, if, if, if I mean anything to you, it's just good for me to tell you 
you did such a great job at this, or I'm so glad that you're in my life because you always do this, that, and the other. Father, I just, I just thank you that you have given us your word, and it's, it's, it's a powerful word. It's a very powerful word. And there are some people, Lord, we don't know who is threatening to commit suicide, who's pondering, who's thinking about it because they feel their life is not making a difference. Maybe they don't know their purpose. Maybe they're not free. Maybe they don't know you. So, Father, we know that there are people who are unhappy with their lives. We can clearly see it by the way they act, by the way they treat other people. So, Father, use us to encourage people just by simply giving them a compliment of praise to show approval of what they've done so that their life will have meaning. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> we don't know, Lord, who's going through. A smile covers a whole lot on the inside. A whole lot. And it's easy to be deceived by a smile. So, Father, please help us. Please help us to help others. Because, as you said, one of the most powerful things we can do is to operate according to Scripture. And so help us to love others. Even though we may need it for ourselves, Lord God, your, your word says that we need to do this for other people in such a way that, that we can't do it for ourselves. Let somebody else praise us, and not our own mouth, a stranger, and not our own lips. We will abide by that, Lord. Yeah. And we're not, we're not even going to try to hint to people to praise us or to say great things about us or to put pressure on them. We're just going to do whatever we do, everything we do, as your word says, just for your glory. We do what is unto you. And that's it. You get the glory, praise, and the honor. Yeah. <sighs> So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. If you would bow your heads again for me. If there's someone here or someone on an online community and you don't know Jesus, you haven't received him in your life, please do so. Please, please do so. And I want to ask everybody who's here, those listening, watching, if you are saved, Please bow your heads and pray for them. God could give you just the right word to say that will literally, as you're praying it to God, touch somebody's heart. And they say, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to give God my life this time. So if you're here, if you're listening and watching, please give your life to God he wants you. He doesn't want the devil to have you. He wants you. He wants you to be his child. Give him your life. Give him your life. Maybe you've left God. and You say, I need to come back to him. I need to come back. This is your opportunity. Please come back to God. Just simply repeat after me right now. And just simply say, Father, I come before you now. By Jesus Christ, who died for me, and I know he died for me. Lord Jesus, your father raised you from the dead. And right now, Father, raise me from the death of my sins. Save me. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Live your life through me so that I can please the Father. I now belong to you and not to myself. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Sanctify me. Set me apart for your use only. And use me for your service and glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. 
and amen. Thank you, Lord, for the soul saved. Thank you, Lord, for the soul saved.